everyone welcome back to the channel welcome back to daily porcupine the ultimate kotoko fan channel if you're new here you know what to do subscribe and hit that notification bell now we've put the super clash behind us and now we face dreams fc at the Babara stadium this match week i think it's going to be an interesting game because i feel that kotoko has all it takes to beat dreams fc is it possible to beat them yes very possible can kotoko win them it's very possible but i'm telling you this it's not going to be easy considering the fact um that we beat them um, 3 1 in the first game at the Accra Sports Stadium, and it was a very, very huge game. Yes, it was a very huge game, one of the best game of the season, one of our best games of the season. And I think we scored three goals in rapid, rapid minutes, and it should be a kind of Premier League record if we are keeping, assuming we keep the statistics and records of the Ghana Premier League. I'm sure that would have been a record because we played very well in that game. Now, this weekend, we have to continue with that power, we have to play very well. That's Forget about the first half of that game and focus on the second half where we turned up and scored three goals. Kotoko should use that form, start the game from the first minute to the 90th minute. Kotoko should play with all their hearts because the Dreams FC team right now, they are very good. If you look at their last game against Medema, they played very well and they, they, they tried to shut Medema out and they did that successfully. It is very difficult for a team to go to Medema home and keep a clean sheet talk less of winning they went there they won and also kept a clean sheet as i said earlier that their their former coach was sacked the serbian was sacked because they were not getting results and i think it stemmed from the fact they were not keeping clean sheet they were they are scoring goals all right they have scored 29 goals this season but they have conceded about 24 goals so far this season and that is the main reason that they couldn't perform well under their previous coach i think the the their recent coach that's the the current coach sorry i think the current coach i don't know his name i don't have more information about him i think he's doing well so far and i think when they go to when they went to media he told them that today we shouldn't concede because they've played very very compact and compact football and they try their best not to concede so they are going to use that, that same mentality to come to the Barbara Stadium and they will try to keep Kotoko from scoring and if they get a chance, they hit Kotoko, defend very well and go home with all three points. But uh, hopefully that won't happen because Kotoko need to beat them to increase um, their lead or their, ha their grip to the top spot position in the Ghana Premier League. So I'm hoping that the boys put all they have or their might or their power and everything they have in them to win that game because it's going to be very very important to win that game at the Baba Ayer Stadium. Fans think it's an easy game because we beat them 3-1. This one is going to be uh, a walkover because that was away and this is home. It doesn't work that way. They have learned their lesson. They will come prepared. We should be also prepared. We shouldn't underrate any team. We shouldn't underrate any team in the Ghana Premier League. So I'm expecting the boys to be at their best if they really want to beat dreams fc now everyone is saying kotoko will win the league kotoko will win the league it can happen very possible that it's going to happen but if we keep on relying to other people's comments compliments and you know assessments we won't go anywhere we just have to focus on ourselves um, the boys have to focus on the the gameplay there they have to focus on everything that got them where they are today continue with that improve more and eventually they will get the goal at the end of the season dreams fc are a very good team but kotoko can beat them and beat them very well if they work hard and finish up the chances they create when they face them at the Barra stadium this match week so i'm expecting a very tight game i'm expecting uh bella and Etuga to torment the dreams fc defense i'm expecting some other players i think amuro ibrahim i'm not sure if he's fit now i'm expecting asma to come in for him if he's not fit I'm also expecting Kotoko defense defensive line to hold the Dreams FC um, attacking line. I'm expecting them to be very very compact and treat them with, uh, or we treat them as if they are not a small team. Treat them with respect and beat them respectfully. I'm also expecting Sheriff Mohammed to start. I don't know about Fabigama. I don't know if he's going to start that game because I think we have waited long enough to see how Fabigama. Frank, uh, with Frank and Bella and Ituga, uh, Frank and Bella and Mfrigi, um how will I put it? How they will partner in their attacking line because an attack of Fabio Gama, Bella and Ituga, I'm telling you, is going to be brutal. <laughs> it's going to be brutal. So when fans say we need to see them play together, I understand them because Fabio Gama is intelligent, he's brilliant, he knows how to create chances. 
and with him behind Bella, I'm sure he's going to score goals. And I think uh, Fabio Gama is going to assist and Bella is going to score goals. So um, I'm also thinking that Dixon Afokwa, he should start working with the players up front. Dixon Afokwa, he had a great opportunity to pass the ball uh, against House of Oak for us to score the goal, pass the ball to the teammates for him to tap him, but he went alone, he went for glory alone and he hit the side netting. I think that could have, uh, well, I think that should trouble Prasper Anate because I'm sure he worked on you know partnering with other play with players up front to score goals. So that thing I don't like it. And if he does it continually I'm sure he's going to be dropped. If he doesn't work with the other attackers I'm sure he's going to be dropped. So if he starts this weekend I won't be surprised but I'm hoping to see an improvement. If he doesn't start if he doesn't start because I think Isaac Opong when I asked the coach about Isaac Opong he said that Isaac Opong currently is injury free and but he was lacking match fitness. I don't know about now since he's playing players based on what he sees in training grounds. I don't know about now if Isaac Opong is fit, match fit, and th I think he's going to start. Or if he doesn't start, I think he's going to start from the bench. Wherever he starts, I just want him to go back to form because I'm sure he has a lot, a lot more to offer to the club. He has been immense, immense since he signed for the club. And I want him to continue because if you put a player like that at the bench for a very long time, it's going to demoralize the player and obviously it will affect his form and he won't be able to give you what he has been giving you at the beginning of the season. So I'm expecting Isaac Opong to, you know, fight his way back into the first team as soon as possible. And then most people have been asking me, where is Steven Amankuna? Where is Steven Amankuna? Now, Steven Amankuna is with the club, but I don't think he's been putting enough work on the training grounds because Paspanati said it clearly that player he feels in the starting team are the team that the players he feel impressed him in the training grounds if you go to the training grounds and impress the coach he's going to field you so if Amankona has been performing well in the training grounds and the friendly games he is definitely going to get his opportunity to shine you can see uh, you can see our boy Evan Sadamako he has been scoring he has been scoring in the friendly games and the training I'm sure he's going to get his opportunity very soon and I also think that the President's Cup that's coming, most of the players will get the opportunity to go there and be impressed because I'm not expecting Prosperity to start a very strong team against House of Folk in the President's Cup. That game is not as important as the league. Fixing the President's Cup in the middle of the league in a crucial moment like this, or in the uh, crucial moments like this, uh, the time of the league, I think is, is, is not wise and I'm expecting the coach not to risk our important players in that game because of injuries. That game is always physical and the tempo is very high and if you play our important players, you can risk injury. You see what happened to Aymoro Ibrahim. So I don't want the same thing to happen to our players when we face them in the President's Cup. So I'm expecting players who haven't seen games in the past few weeks or since the season started to get a chance to represent the club in the president's cup and i'm sure they're going to put their best because that's also um, serves as a platform for them to impress and tell the coach that oh this guy played well in the president's cup why is he not playing and the coach will say okay this is your opportunity make use of it so overall i think the dreams fc game will be very good i think it's going to be a clash of good two good teams I'm expecting good attacking football, but I'm ultimately expecting Kotoko to win. I would like to know your thoughts. Put that in the comment section and see what you think about the game. Who do you think will win that game? Put that in the comment section and see what you think. I think that's all for today. If you haven't subscribed to right now, hit the notification bell. Till next time, guys. Goodbye.